I'd like to discuss a somewhat complicated topic. This may take more than one short video to explain it. It has to do with abbreviations and how to use them correctly in a paper. There are a couple principles to observe. First, abbreviations often appear in the titles of articles, and yet it is best to avoid them when possible. So here, this very long word for a condition, hypoparathyroidism, appears in the title. It should not be abbreviated. However, down here in the abstract, the word hypoparathyroidism appears several times. It is abbreviated the first time, but the word hypoparathyroidism occurs at other places in here. How can we fix this? As I had showed you in a previous video, first thing that you do is go to find replace. And here, I want to find instances of the word hypothyroidism. Now, there is a specific trick that you need to use here. You need to go to this gear button here and say that you want to ignore case. In other words, if case is being ignored, my find function is going to find the word hypothyroidism capitalized or not capitalized. In other words, at the beginning of the sentence or not at the beginning of a sentence. So uh, this is, of course, I've written this wrong. This is hypoparathyroidism, which is the reason it doesn't appear in the article. But the word hypoparathyroidism, in fact, occurs 46 times. Now, do I want to change it in the title? No. Do I want to change it here? Well, no, it's already been abbreviated, but I want to change it to its abbreviation HP, as I've just typed here, not here, but in its second instance, which is here. So I'm going to click replace. And in the next one as well, replace, not in the keywords, because someone is going to use hypoparathyroidism in their search. So I'm going to hit find again. It'll find me the next one. Okay. Here is the introduction, and this is the second important point. The first one was about titles. The second one is about the difference between the abstract and the introduction. The abstract and the introduction are regarded as two separate papers, the abstract being a mini paper. So expressions that are uh, appear more than once in the abstract uh, can be abbreviated, but you begin again in the main body of the text as though you were starting over. So here, hypoparathyroid hypoparathyroidism is abbreviated. Let's go to the next instance. Ah, there it is again. That needs to be replaced. That needs to be replaced. Uh, here, the author is talking about a search term that they used. And so we don't want to replace that here. Uh, here is a title, a subhead. So you may consider uh, it may help to consult the journal instructions whether uh, abbreviations can be used in subheads. Clearly, it shouldn't be used in subheads for the first time. But here, I'm going to replace it there, and here, etc. And you can, I'm not going to show you all of the remaining 39 instances. So that is one short introduction to uh, how you can fix abbreviations quickly uh, using Microsoft Word, and uh, we may need to do a follow-up video.